But in this video, I'm going to uh, try and give an uh, informal explanation of uh, the idea behind homology groups. So now it is like this. So we start with a space. Now here's a space X, and it's got a couple of holes in. So that's obviously a key topological feature of this space, and we want to try and uh, formalize mathematically what it means to say that the space has two holes. I'm going to do this in terms of a concept called uh, cycles and boundaries. Um, so to explain this, well, let's, firstly let's think about a, having a path in this space, like this, this path here, and uh, so it's got some, some endpoints. So the path is called U, and it starts at a point A and ends at a point B. Uh, <coughs> Okay, so, um, so I'm going to write this curly D, to curly D U is the boundary of U. So it consists of these points A and B. <coughs> so there, there's a, 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 a path of the boundary. But we could alternatively look at a path like this. A closed path here, yeah, this one's called V. Um, <coughs> Okay, so that, because it goes around a circle, it joins up, joins up on it, so it doesn't have any boundary at all. Okay, so uh, the boundary of V is empty. <coughs> uh, so that's, uh, that, that's for kind of paths, but we can also think about doing this sort of for a region. So let's call this region here P. Okay, so then the, uh, what's the boundary of P? Uh, boundary of P is, is this uh, path around the edge. Let's call this one W. Uh, so we see that uh, uh, the boundary of P is W. And again, the W is a closed path, so the boundary of W is empty. Um, and so like D squared, the boundary of the boundary of P, that's empty. <coughs> and this is, a, uh, <coughs> this is a common feature. Okay? I mean, uh, we're not really given precise enough definitions to uh, uh, to prove this yet, but uh, when we do get up to get around to uh, providing precise definitions, it's going to work out like this. Uh, uh, d squared of anything is going to be empty equals zero. Okay, so here I wrote empty, there I wrote zero. Uh, well, uh, yeah, we're not saying anything sufficiently precise to really uh, uh, distinguish between those two things, but yeah. Yeah. Eventually, we're going to make things into a group, an additive group, and zero will be the identity element of that group. Okay, so this is how it works out. You do d squared of anything is zero. Uh, I mean, so another way uh, we could do a kind of example one dimension higher. Um, you know, b three is a solid ball, and then the boundary of that b three, this uh, subspace of, uh, of three dimensional Euclidean space. Boundary of B3 is an ordinary sphere, and the boundary of uh, well, D squared of this B3, which is the boundary of S2, but the uh, sphere, you know, that's a surface without any boundary. This is this is empty. That's, a, that's a, again an example of what we said here that D squared is going to be zero. <coughs> okay. um, so the, the words we use a uh, a cycle. thing with no boundary. Um, a boundary is, is just something that's the boundary of something else. So, uh, you know, if uh, x is a boundary, then that means that x is dy is on y, so dx is d squared y, uh, which is 0, uh, by what we've kind of said here, the boundary of the boundary is always going to be 0, therefore x is a cycle. So, conclude all boundaries and cycles. <coughs> okay, uh, <coughs> and uh, another way around, uh, 
know, often uh, cycle the boundaries. But not always. <coughs> so when we go back to this uh, V that we had here, I mean that's obviously a boundary as well. We can fill it in the middle, call this Q, and this uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> um, here, you know, V is DQ. Okay, so V was a cycle because DV is empty, but V is also DQ. But what happens if we do a path like this one? Let's call this one M. <coughs> Uh, <coughs> so dm is zero. Um, the m uh, m is a cycle, and you know m sort of, sort of is a boundary. It's a boundary if we allow ourselves to use the whole plane. You know, we can just fill in the middle of the m. But if we don't allow ourselves to use the whole plane, if we only allow ourselves to use x, you know, then we can't fill in m because to fill in m, we you know, we need to use some of these uh, this gray space here, which is not part of the space x; it's part of the whole. Um, <coughs> um, uh, m is not dp for any part p of x. Okay, I m it's a cycle in x. Not a boundary in X. And so this detects the presence of a hole. <coughs> okay, so there's the basic there's your uh, the basic principle. Um, if you want to see if there's any holes in a space, you, know, you need to uh, look for uh, look for cycles that are not boundaries, and maybe you have a cycle that's not a boundary, and that's indicating that there's a hole. Um, so uh, <coughs> that's going to be uh, some plenty more sort of elaborations on this basic uh, basic point of view, which we'll do in a separate video. Uh, that will do for the uh, first introduction. <coughs>